something that can exist in a hell situation of some kind. But, you know, the, the demons and, and angels and, and all that stuff is the same thing, I think, anyway. You can see here the outline of her hair and the bottom of her chin and stuff. And then I... Well, that's in multicolor, and, and, and then around it is yellow. Wow, seven minutes already has gone by. Uh... So that shows that her head is is still kind of connected in a way, I guess. Uh, I have not finished stitching her hair. And so she was sort of, looked like she was speaking or calling because her hand was raised up, but now I was thinking she was blowing something in here. And then I was going to make, first it was going to be a, a, a body of a, of a man uh, falling backwards with, with the invisible thread. Then it was going to be a snake kind of figure with a head, but then I realized I was turning it the wrong way. I was turning it like this, so the head would end up here, but then it would look too much like the same movement that was going on here, so it should have went like this. It should have went like that with 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 the body this way and the head here. But so once I realized I screwed it, I abandoned that idea and I just started going completely abstract. I'm not sure I'm happy with and then I was gonna go over this whole thing with this invisible thread to make it look like I don't know I don't know maybe it looks like some kind of cocoon or something if I put I don't know if I'm gonna do that I don't want this to be as vivid as the rest of it I always wanted to try to take some kind of a mesh or something and put it on top I gotta go see what other fabrics I can maybe put it on top I want I want to cover it slightly with transparent uh, you know there's another kind of invisible thread that's kind of dark I don't want to find that now maybe I can try that I don't know I just gotta do something here maybe it'll turn out see that things are always happening that force you to experiment you don't, I don't know what it's going to be. I was really despondent. I almost gave this damn thing up. Alright, we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, wow, it's almost ten minutes. Jesus, this thing goes so fast. You can see better the two-headed thing here. And, and, uh, uh, this was a conjoined head. This uh, is sort of a silly, cartoony-looking eye, face with with rabbit ears, and um, it's just really. This was supposed to be a guy. See, I use the metallic thread. This is supposed to be his brain exposed, but then it started looking like a bandana, and then uh, I don't know what happened. He turned out looking like some kind of a road warrior type of face. But then I put his body, uh, his, his body is, is definitely made out of light, and uh, I think that's why he, he's, he's, he's a time traveler. I, I'm not really, uh, I'm stealing ideas from when I was a kid. It's just, don't want to say where I'm getting them from, but I can't help when that pops up. Uh, this is more of a three-dimensionally rendered face with cartoony eyes, uh, but it looks, I don't know, I'm kind of disturbed by it. Uh, this face, uh, th I saw a painting of a demon, a very old painting, which had a face on the body like this. And, and exactly the same kind of... Uh, horrific uh, torture weapon whatever so I just took that idea I didn't draw exactly the way it looked though I appropriated it I guess you could say I think the artist has been long dead but it doesn't really matter but that is the uh, the uh, beast he's got a horn on his head and some of it, uh, his body has been cut open and out spills, uh, out spills 
I don't know, everything. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stitches in there of many different colors. There's nothing in there that is actually a shape of anything specific, though. Uh, the metallic zoom thing is... I use partial of it to make it look like it's sort of going through or past that. This is sort of like her tail and it comes out to this very deadly spiky kind of thing. But I also realize it now looks like a rocket blasting off of the her lower portion. You know, you know but it, that's not really what it is. But nothing has to have one meaning. I mean, it can have multiple meanings. Uh, these segments inside of her are uh, actually little landscapes inside. There's like little, little, uh, you know, you have the terrain and you have a black sky. So there's like, I don't know what that, I mean, little dioramas maybe? No, that's, that's stupid. Uh, little landscapes inside these cylindrical things that are inside of her, I'm not really sure. Let's deal this 100% with that. This light, the color is not exactly the way it really looks because uh, there's no white balance on this on this contraption I bought. Uh, so anyhow, we'll see what happens. Um, I guess that's it for now. Hopefully I'll have a better setup and I'll be able to get closer in to show more finer stitch work. Um, that's it, thank you.